Hello out there, my name is Debi Show and you are welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Please do not forget to like, please subscribe, comment, also turn on the notification bell so that you miss a video from me. You are welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Today, I want to talk about a trending video online about Fatai and Aduke. They are both young boy and a young girl. So the girl is in school, but Lomi College of Science in Kwara State, precisely. But the educational background of Fatai is not known. So both of them are lovers, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend. So Fatai got a hint that Aduke is cheating on her. He secretly invited Aduke over to the house, to his apartment. And on Aduke's arrival, his friend, Fatai's friend, were also in the apartment with Fatai. So they interrogated Aduke and they, they concluded that Aduke was sitting on Fatai. So Fatai brought out a cane. So due to the help of Fatai's friend, so they held Aduke's hand and leg. They held it tightly. So Fatai now started beating Aduke. She, according to the news story, Fatai undressed Aduke and he flogged her on her buttocks, you know. And in, in so doing, they also made a video and sent it online. So Fatai and his friend later on allowed Aduke to go. Aduke also saw the video online. So Aduke now updated the video on her WhatsApp status, calling people to come to her head that justice it must be done on Fatai, that she need justice. So due to the trending news and our WhatsApp status, so police have apprehended Fatai and his friend. This thing is common now nowadays. Both of them are boyfriend and girlfriend. They are not married. Aduke happens to be in HND1. So where to calculate it, Aduke should be either 19, 20, 21. You know, she's in HND1. But Lomi College of Science in Kwara State. So, young girls and young men, please, these are the signs to look for before you get married to anybody. So, Fatai hasn't married Aduke. So, we can say Fatai has not paid Aduke's bride price. And, you know, they are still doing boyfriend and boy girlfriend. And Fatai has started beating Aduke. I want to believe this is not the first time, or this is not the first time that Fatai will be beating this guy if you check it critically this might not be the first time he must have been doing something that aduke should have take notes and should have take a walk from the from the boyfriend and girlfriend the relationship that they are into not everybody is going to get married and not everybody is marriable fatai to me is not marriable you are in a relationship or boyfriend and girlfriend relationship with somebody and you haven't married the person you have started beating the person i want to believe if fatai eventually gets married to Aduke, the marriage will be full of domestic violence. Violence will be the order of the day in that marriage. So these are the signs we should look out for. If he can beat you when you are in courtship, if he can beat you when you are in friendship, if he can beat you when you are in relationship with him or her, definitely when you get married to her, she will definitely beat you. Number second point that you should look out for is that who is our friend? They said evil communication corrupt good manner. Bad communication corrupt good manner a bed of the same feather flock together show me your friend and i will tell you the kind of person that you are fatai and his friend they've deliberated on it they've thought of it none of them could could remind fatai that you haven't get married to him so and none of the friend no one of none of fatai's friend could advise her this girl you haven't married to her so she's free to do whatever she wants to do so far you haven't paid her bride price so she's free yes what you can do is that you invite her talk to her that you love her to her you reason together so fatai's friends should have even corrected fatai they also have even stopped fatai from carrying out the flogging that they did together on this young lady another point is that the third point is that do not marry somebody that is too possessive Somebody that is too possessive, do not marry that person. Somebody that monitors your movements, somebody that wants to know the person you are calling, somebody that wants to check your messages, do not marry that, that type of person. If at all eventually you get married to that person, that person will not even allow your family member to visit you. He won't want to see your close relative. He won't want them to visit you. You know, he will be checking on you. Where are you going to? Questioning you. Where are you? Where are you coming from? He checking on you. All this. So this type of person, you do not get married to them another point i will be given is that love is not enough to sustain marriage 
religion is not enough to sustain marriage you know what you should look for before you marry is character character is like a flame it cannot be hidden you know character cannot be hidden it will surely come out so religion is not it love is not enough but character you know check out your character the way the person carry himself or herself the way he talks the way he respects you you know character is key not even religion people can pretend to be religious people can pretend you know that they love you but character there is no way that you won't see that character will show out you know if nobody is a bully know how through character you will know so be careful of the type of person that you want to get married to so i said do not marry somebody who is possessive that want to check on you all the time and again check friend is or her friend you know before you say yes i do to them my name is david Shawande. please do not forget to like comment also turn on the notification bell so that you miss a video from me thank you